Why as a man you allow your wife to be the breadwinner when it was ordained for a man to be the breadwinner? I can't even, I'm, I'm trying to understand, to comprehend how some men can be so callous and how, as in, they don't have heart at, at all. They are making their wife go through stress without them contributing anything to that marriage. And it's bad. She was saying no, she can't go home because this uh, the money from the pure water is what they are going to use to feed. I people were thinking maybe okay, maybe this lady she has no husband, maybe she's a widow or stuff like that, maybe she's a single mother. We as in the letter found out that that lady she has husband, but that the, the man is so lazy he can't even go outside to work to provide for his family. And it's not supposed to be so. God ordained a man to be the head of the home, not the woman, not the other way around. And people felt very pity for her. They decided to contribute money for her in order for her to go home. Just imagine, during that process, she give birth now, along the road. How do you think people are going to see her? Please, as a man, if you're a man and you're sitting down at home, you're sending your wife to go and look for money, you're not doing anything. See, I'm not trying to say a woman cannot support her home. You can. It's, you can support your home. It can be 50-50. Or the little you have, you can use to support your home. Don't, but don't be the breadwinner of the home. That is not your responsibility. God never made that, that job to be your responsibility. It is not your responsibility. So when I see a woman who has a husband struggling, fighting, trying to make hands meet, as in providing for the family, it's very, very heartbroken. If the man, maybe something happened along the road and that man decided maybe something happened, he had an accident, he can't walk, okay. That one is more understandable. Even with that situation, it can, it can also look for something else to generate fun in order for the family not to starve, in order for the family not to go hungry. But if you're a full grown man with your hands and with your legs, nothing happened to you, you're not blind, you, in fact, you're not deaf, you are okay. And you're sitting down home, you're not doing anything, you're expecting your wife to be the breadwinner, your, your wife is the one that is going to take care, take care of your children for you, the one that is going to send them to school, buy anything they want or feed you. You're a disgrace as a man. You're not supposed to be called a man. You're less of a man, that's just it. And that man, that woman is more than you. And also I'm doing this video for some things also, you know? I go through people's story and I sit down and I'm trying to think about it. What of if this particular thing is happening to me? What will I do? If I pray that kind of thing do not happen to me, but if it's if if it's God's will and it happened because nobody knows tomorrow, I'm going to stand and tell the man my mind because I cannot sit down and expect and think as in expect everything to be okay or believe that everything will be okay tomorrow. Like I said before, if this man is fighting in order for him to, to generate fun, even if he doesn't have a white collar job, as far as he's trying to, even if he's into farming, the little he can bring home, it is better. It is better than no. It is better than your children going hungry, starving day and night. 
So this other story is about a lady. I think she's in she's in uh, France or Germany, and she was saying ah uh, every time she do send money to her husband in Nigeria, is he her fiance or her boyfriend? That every month this guy this guy is expecting money from her. That she's the one that even as in that established him. I was like, why? Why do we ladies? put our hands in things we cannot finish things you know that you're not okay with do not start it don't because of love don't say because i love this guy i want to stay with this guy it is called in total it is called desperation it means when you're desperate for a thing or you're desperate for marriage that's when you bring yourself that low you condescend so low to be the one sponsoring a guy Feeding the guy, clothing a guy. I don't understand. If you are that kind of woman, you are a fool. A big 100% fool. That is what I'm going to say. If you are working for your money and you are using it to take care of yourself, it is okay. If you have a guy, you have a husband. 50-50. Okay, only I want to buy this water. Okay, how much is this water? Okay, this water is 100 Naira. And you can provide 50. 15 era is providing 15 era fine that is how marriage will work that is how it's going to work but once you are the one taking care of him if you are a man and a woman is taking care of you buying feeding you clothing you you have see you have lost every atom of respect for as in she will just lost every atom of respect for you she will look down on you because you are nothing you are nothing to her you cannot provide for yourself. So let me go back to this story. And this lady was complaining that she has been married to this guy for the past, I think, two, one year, I don't know. But she lives abroad. There's one thing I always think about. Why do people who live at home or that, that lives in Africa or Nigeria, they think maybe once you're, you've traveled out, you've, tra uh, you've traveled out, Automati uh, automatically you have money that money you can even see money when you're walking along the road people will dash you money or you pick money from the ground that is not so we need to start thinking about it our our, our relative our, uh, at home need to start thinking about it that we don't p pick money from the floor we don't just walk along the road and somebody will just call you hey come come take this one thousand dollar where are you going to see it nobody's gonna feed you it is even more favorable because when you live at home, there's no way you can go to the farm and, and, and cultivate anything you want to eat. But once you're here, you have no money, you have no money. You're homeless, you're homeless. Nobody's gonna look at you, nobody's gonna think about you. So that kind of, that kind of expectation, it is so wrong. That is how people, people develop that pressure. You, you start pressuring people. You start pressuring them that if you don't give me money, that you're bad. Once you don't give me money, you're this, you're that. It's not supposed to be so. We need to start thinking about it. So this lady said, after some time, she decided, she, she was like, are you sure this man is going to wait for me? Even when, when I've traveled, are you sure he's going to wait for me? So she was complaining that she bought instruments for this guy of more than some thousand as in 500,000 600,000 sometimes the man expects her to send her money uh, to send him money every month sometimes 100,000 now let me ask that man now what do you know as in do you know how she gets that money do you know the stress she go through to get that money and the lady was saying if he maybe she sent her, uh, sent him money, maybe fifty thousand or thirty thousand, the man will be complaining. Oh, this little money you're sending to me, this money is too small. You are a big fool. If you're that man, you're a big fool. Somebody is trying to. Like I said before, if you're a lady, please don't try to carry the responsibility that you know you're gonna regret later. It is not good. Once your husband is alive, if, you, if the man cannot provide 100%, which is the responsibility of a husband, I'm not talking about a boyfriend here, I'm talking about a husband. The man has total responsibility, according to what God said, 100% to provide. 
for his wife. Like I said, I'm not talking about boyfriend. Once you're dating, you're, you're dating. Everybody can do whatsoever he or she likes. But once you're dating, the man has every, as in 100% responsibility to take care of the home. So please do not take up that responsibility that you know later you're going to regret. Later you're going to feel bad about yourself. Because definitely it's going to drain you. It's going to drain you 100%. So, the lady said every time this man complained, why would you give me this? It's not enough. It's not this. It's not that. So later she asked him, do you know how I get this money? And the worst part is that this lady said she go to the streets and hustle with the same body this man paid bride price for. Which means in general terms, she is a prostitute. She work in the night in order for her to get money. Because it's not, his, it's not easy to get money. She also at night. And somebody that is hustling at night, trying to make hands mean, you don't know how she pay her, her, as in house rent, or do you think maybe the same, uh, the same price of house rent that they pay in Nigeria, that's the same house rent uh, uh, payment that they're going to, that you, that, that you expect them to pay in France or where? And you're complaining. Now she said she's tired of the marriage, she wants, she wants a divorce, stuff like that, that this, that this guy has been calling her that, okay, please, you have to, okay, you have to look for people for me, I have to come, I have to come to Europe, stuff like that. You don't know how she gets her money, that is my problem. Try to be considerate at once, for once, try to be considerate as a man. Once you know that you are not working, you are not contributing to a marriage, please try to be considerate. People that live abroad do not pluck money. They do not see money on the floor. They are hustling day and night in order for them to accomplish their goal. Stop putting pressure on people. Stop expecting what you cannot give. It is not fair as a human being. Now she's fighting for a divorce. She wants to be separated from this man. What do you think? I want you to leave your comments. Leave your thoughts on the comment section so that as in other people will learn as a woman, like I always say, do not put on the responsibility of a man. It is not your job to take care of your home, to take care of your children. Once your husband is alive, if your husband is dead, okay, that is another case. You can decide to, you can decide to take up the responsibility of your home. Once you're a single mother, okay, fine, no problem. That is your responsibility. Once a man as, as in paid your bride price and you're living in his house, do not take any responsibility that you know it's meant for the man. This is all I have to say. I hope you like this video. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and click on that notification bell. Till next time, my beautiful people. Bye.